Today we're at Disney's Hollywood Studios mm -hmm. and we had someone ask if we could go to the Hollywood Brown Derby and do a review on it. I've always wanted to go. Yeah, I've never been. Nope. But we got a reservation, so we're gonna go. Let's go check it out. So far, crowd level hasn't really been that bad. It's currently like 10.30 and our reservation's at 11.20. We have Donald and Daisy over here waving at the crowd. Now Brown Derby is gonna be located up here to the right. And we still have probably about 40 minutes before we can check in for a reservation. If you look to your right, Hollywood Brown Derby is right over here. And then up here under this awning is where you'll go to check in. We also have a gold statue here. <laughs> we'll try it again. And then maybe once the menu frees up here, I can show you what the menu looks like. Shaking and moving. It buzzed. We're gonna try this one, see if, see if we can get it to work. It buzzed. It buzzed, waved. Oh. oh. Alright, showed up on the phone. We have about eight minutes before we can check in. So we're gonna head over here to this Toy Story statue, Woody and Bo Peep, and see if we can get get it to uh, do its thing. It has not buzzed yet, so. Not buzzed? <laughs> You would not oh. believe the things I've seen. No, 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 I wouldn't. Boom. Try this one again. So it must have buzzed. Oh. I think you're starting to figure it out. Yeah, I think so. So we've already gotten three of the seven. Yeah. Here is a look at the Hollywood Brown Derby menu. Is that a special, looks like the 50th anniversary. Oh yeah. And then here's a little bit about it. I'm guessing when we go in, it'll be QR code only for the menu. So that's why I wanted to show that one there. It is 10.55, our reservation is at 11.20, so in five minutes we can check in. So we're gonna head just over here, across the road, and try to get the rest of these gold statues. A kind of a crowd over at these statues, so we're gonna head over to the other side and do the BB-8 one first, and R2-D2. Looks like we got BB-8. R2-D2. Oh, we got R2-D2. Wow. Oh, and oh. Well, that was strange. Here, you got two for one. Two for one. All right. <laughs> that was easy. Now we have these two as the last two at Hollywood Studios. Once we get these, we'll have Hollywood Studios done and Epcot. Did not buzz so maybe let's try. Oh. All right. Right when that thing buzzes, you just got to go. Wave like a maniac. Nice. That should be 100% complete. Here's Frozone. Frozone. Probably hard to see with the sun the way it is. And Dolly, Edna Mode. Come on. Oh. What the? Oh, there, there. it is. All right. Denver Look at that. Hollywood Studios. 100%, 100%. Nice. That was a real wind yeah. of a time. Magic Kingdom was tough. Now, most dining locations at Disney 
have you check in through the app and this location does as well when you're 20 minutes out from your reservation just go into the my disney app and go to your reservation and it will say check in hit check in go through what it tells you to go through and then you'll be good to go chip and dale chip has a basket a little picnic basket Also, it does you really good to check in early because it's been three minutes and I got the text saying our table is ready. So we get to go in, eat now. See how well we can film walking in. There's quite a bit of people here due to Chip and Dale being out. Let's see, we go through these doors. This is what the entrance looks like. There are restrooms right there. Look at all these old pictures on the wall. The ceiling. Here's a map of Hollywood Boulevard. And what's this? And then we're gonna head this way. Wow, look at this. All the pictures on the wall. Look at all these pictures. We're gonna be down here. Look at the little hat light. And we have all of these drawings next to us here. This is a big place. I love how it looks. Mm -hmm. We're one of the first people in here right now. Now they actually did give us paper menus, but I already showed the menu outside. They said, this is the drink menu. I'll just do a quick overview of it here. Dessert wines. And then this is the menu I showed you outside. But I'll just do a quick little scroll here. As far as gluten-free, as far as gluten-free goes, I'm not seeing any anything labeled gluten-free. They do have a margarita flight down here. As far as the drinks go, we're just going with water today because it is extremely hot. It's probably gonna be around 100 degrees, so we wanna make sure we stay hydrated. As far as the food goes, not sure yet. Timber's looking at the famous Cobb salad. Are you I adding chicken it. or anything? No, or just it's regular? already got turkey. Yeah, okay. it's kind of good. It, I mean, I love a Cobb salad, so it's famous. <laughs> if it's famous, you have I'm to get really it. I'm really gonna like it. <laughs> yeah. I am curious what this spoon bread is. That sounds delicious. We asked our waiter what are some of his favorites, and he said the braised short rib, very good. The shrimp and scallops Newberg, very good. And then also the seasonal fish, which he said is stuffed with the crab meat. It's very expensive, but I'm kind of leaning towards the shrimp and scallops Newburgh because it's not every day that you are here at the Brown Derby. All right, since somebody wanted us to come here and review this, we're both actually gonna get entrees instead of sharing like we normally do. Living so, on the dangerous side. <laughs> living on the dangerous side. And there is a pass holder discount here as well. Because it's table service. Yes, because it's table service. So. We're gonna have a famous Cobb salad and shrimp and scallops, Newberg. We ended up asking him what the spoon bread was and I told Tim, <laughs> I said, if he says it's anything like cornbread with like butter and stuff, we're getting it. And what were his first words? It's like a soft cornbread. It's bread. like a soft cornbread with butter and honey. I knew so it was. I'm actually gonna put a link to the video that we did at um, Smoky Bones because their cornbread out of this world. So I'm curious to see how this spoon bread is going to compare. I really want to walk around and see all of the celebrities they have. I mean, there's a zillion of them. Who's next to you? You'll be able to see yeah, I already showed. 
showed this one off a little bit here. These are really cool though. Oh, and you can see they have other, I don't know if those are like photos or what those are, and then some more drawings all the way around the restaurant. Just based on some pictures and stuff, I feel like they did a very good job making it resemble the original Brown Derby. They brought us some bread. Ooh. And then, <laughs> ooh. and then butter with sea salt. That's interesting. I'm excited though. It's fancy. Let's see if you get this reference. I'm sorry, I apologize. I was like, why is this such a big deal? In case you didn't get that reference, it was. Charlie Chaplin and also um, Benny and June. Johnny oh. Depp does that. I was thinking you were using these Those as... just like the rolls. <laughs> I thought you were using these as Pinocchio's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse's shoes. <laughs> Not quite. Here's the reference. Good job, you did that good. That's spot on. And here's the other reference. From Benny and June. <laughs> as far as the bread goes, it is a little crunchy on the top but I think that's what they're going for here. That's the style of bread. Um, I actually like this kind of bread too, so I'm excited for it. But just so you know, it's like a more crunchy type of roll. Now, I will say the butter is extremely soft, easy to spread butter. Here is the roll. That's decent. It's not gonna be like a Texas Roadhouse style roll that melts in your mouth or anything. That's decent bread. Well, that was something new. <laughs> Pinkies out. <laughs> they, I wish I could have got a picture or video of the salad before it was mixed up. He was a professional salad mixer. Yes. He came and said, would you like me to mix the salad up for you? And sure enough, he did. So that's the salad. Look at this bread. Oh, that looks good. Definitely looks like some good cornbread. Spoon bread. And then here is mine. You really don't get that much for the price, I would say. However, you kind of have to know that going into a place like this, but it looks very, very good. I like that it's all chopped up. That does look like a pretty famous salad. I don't know what the dressing is, but... Mm -hmm. Is that a good, famous Cobb salad? Yeah. Yeah, it's really tasty. All right, we're gonna try the shrimp first. No tails, there's no tails on it. There so shouldn't be. It's a huge piece of shrimp, but I love this sauce. I don't know. It's a sherry cream sauce, he said. Very good sauce. Yeah, the shrimp's great. Now, try some rice. Try everything separate here. Good rice. These are big scallops. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yep. Good sized scallops. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. Mm hmm. Those are really excellent. Super good. Yeah, those are really good. Those are cooked great. Now, this kind of bread with like crab something on top. Yeah, like a crab dip or yep. something. Whoa. You're hit with like a lemon citrus flavor at first on that. I'd say everything's excellent. We haven't even tried the best part yet, probably. But <laughs> as far as my meal goes, it's good. The only thing I would say is it's probably not like enough value for $49 or whatever it was. However, high quality. High quality, and I never want to get so much food that I'm full walking around the park. True. So it's a good portion. I think after eating a little bit more, I've decided this is a stinking good dish. It's very good. Really, really good. Those are excellent scallops. The sauce is really, really yeah, good. Yeah, you liked both of them a lot mm -hmm. as well. Um, the sauce is amazing. This is a very good dish. I would get it again. Right, I'm gonna try the Cobb salad. The bacon in there mm -hmm. is so good. That's a, that's a good famous Cobb salad. Just to show you the size of these scallops, there's one of the rolls, I mean, Two of them are basically the size of a roll. 
I personally enjoy doing is when you have so much sauce, taking the bread, souping up all that sauce. Oh yeah. I've eaten so much bread, dipped it in all this, and there's still a lot of sauce, so I'm gonna have to stop because I'm extremely full with that. And you've just been eating forever on that top salad, and there's so much. There's only so much salad you can eat. But now it's time for our dessert. Now they brought us a spoon. So I guess you just eat it. Oh yeah, look, look at that. Yep. Trying the spoon bread. There's like no corn, it like just literally just melts in your mouth. That is good. I will say it's not as good as Smoky Bones. Smoky Bones still has the best cornbread ever, but. Well, this isn't cornbread though, so it's hard to compare. That's true, it's not cornbread but it's definitely some bread that melts in your mouth and is tasty. All right, let's see what you think. <laughs> like there's no bread left when you put it, it like just melts in your mouth. It's cold. <laughs> it's almost like a lava cake, but corn style. Like, hopefully that bread makes sense. Bread pudding-ish. Yeah, a little bit of bread pudding, that's true. But definitely it melts in your mouth. Like if you look in there, that's why they gave us a spoon. Spoon bread. Spoon bread, hey. Didn't, didn't really catch that, why? <laughs> I just now caught that spoon bread. <laughs> they give you a spoon for the bread because it's spoon bread. All right, we are all finished, so we're getting ready to head out. Sorry, thank you. Heading back outside. All right, we are all finished. This is actually gonna kind of be, as we were talking, a little bit of a mixed review, I would say. Yeah. Um, overall, I love the theming. Mm -hmm. They did excellent with the theming. Yeah. The uh, staff was nice. Our waiter was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. And I it's will. A good experience. Yeah, yeah, it was. The total bill after our annual pass holder discount, which gave us like eight dollars off, was seventy dollars, not including the tip. So it was probably about seventy-eight dollars without that pass holder discount. Mm -hmm. um, so it is really expensive. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know that going into it, so. Right. And then, as far as the meals go, yeah, you got the famous Cobb salad. Yeah, I probably wouldn't get it again. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like, oh my goodness, so good. Hi. Uh, <laughs> um, the main thing with yours, though, is it was huge. We easily could have shared that. Yeah. I, I mean, it was a large salad. To, but yeah. Yours was really good. Though. Mine was stinking good, and I would I would get mine again. It was yeah. very very good. Yeah, it was stinking good. Um, I will say we didn't know it came with rolls, so that was an added bonus. And I really enjoyed taking the roll, dipping it in that sauce because the sauce was amazing. Um, as far as the spoon bread goes, I'm kind of torn on it. I was really hoping for like the smoky bones, cornbread, honey, dessert taste. But what we were, what we really tasted, it was good, but there was some kind of, it wasn't garlic. It was like a savory flavor. Yeah, it kind with of felt it. out of place. I mean, we just thought it was going to be more of a sweet thing because it said what? Lavender, Lavender honey, honey. Yeah. bread. Yeah. So we thought it was just going to be like a sweet thing. But then there was kind of a strange uh, savory yeah. flavor. Like almost like garlic. Now, I yeah. did, like, it wasn't bad. I did enjoy it. I thought it was um, good. Not what you expected. Not what I expected, which threw me off. But I think the biggest thing is I already had like three or four rolls. And going into it next time, I would rather just have the rolls with the sauce than probably the spoon bread. However, I am glad I tried it. Yeah. It was a unique kind of... It's always good to try new things. Yeah, it was a unique side dish. Mm -hmm. So what I am glad... Enchantments? Yeah, an enchantment. Yeah, but I am glad I got it. So um, yeah, I'm glad we went. Yeah, that's the first time we've ever been. Very, very cool place. So if you are at Disney's Hollywood Studios and you're wanting to experience a nice themed, cool place to go to, stop by the Brown Derby. We also saw this side note: the fiftieth dish. Yes. And that did look good. It is it very looked, expensive as well, but it looked very, very good. So, um, but with that being said. That does it for today. Thanks for watching.